All right, welcome to comparing and ordering. So this whole unit we've dealt with integers, fractions, decimals, percents, exponents, square roots, and scientific oh, notation. Oh my, I do agree with that statement actually, that's a lot. So now what we're gonna do is look at a bunch of different numbers in all those forms and then put them in order. So the easiest way to do that is to simplify anything when possible. So turn square roots into the estimated number, turn fractions like reduced fractions, okay? Um, turn, we're basically gonna turn everything into decimals. So write fractions, percents, and non-perfect square cube roots as decimals, okay? Don't worry about cube roots, I crossed those off. We weren't gonna, gonna do those. So we're gonna convert everything to a decimal and then we're gonna compare them. If it's in scientific notation, put it in standard form, which will end up being a decimal probably. Okay, so when you write your answers, we're going to order them from least to greatest, so from small to big, okay, and we're going to write our answers in their original form. So we're going to convert them so we can tell them apart and then order them, and then we're going to rewrite them in their correct order um, and the way that they were written originally. Okay, so here's how I recommend doing these problems. Sorry, I have a cat over here that I'm trying to make go away. Okay, so... <laughs> Two thirds. I know two thirds is 0.67. 6.2 times 10 to the negative third. So I'm going to maybe write it up here. 6.2 times 10 to the negative third. Remember, negative means go to the left. One, two, three. So I get 0 0.0062. Okay. The square root of 40. So you might have to look back at your notes because you don't remember all the perfect squares, but the square root of 36 is a perfect square and the square root of 49 is a perfect square and 40 is in between there. The square root of 36 is 6, the square root of 49 is 7. So our answer is going to be 6 point something and 40 is closer to 36. So I'm going to say like 6.2. That's what I'm going to call that. So 6.2. 60% turns into 0.6. And then a cool trick for turning um, a fraction into a decimal is you could do, divide and do long division. But notice the denominator is a 25. If I turn that into 100, that's going to be really helpful. So 25 times 4. And whatever you do to the bottom, you got to do to the top. So that gives me 64 over 100. 64 hundredths. So 0.64. Okay, cool. I converted them all into decimals. Now I'm gonna order them from smallest to biggest, okay? So the smallest number is right here. So I put a little one there. The next smallest number looks like 0.6, okay? Third smallest number looks like 0.64. Fourth smallest number, 0.67. And you could have said 0.6 repeating, but we usually round to 0.67. And then the last number, the big one is um, 6.2. So number five, like that. Okay, now they're in order. Now I'm gonna rewrite them in their original form. So 0 0.0062 was originally 6.2 times 10 to the negative third. The next number was um, number two, which was 60%. So I'm going to write 60%. The third number was the fraction. So I'm going to put 16. Ow, my cat's biting me. 16 over 25. Love my cat. Um, the next one we said number four was 6.67, which is two thirds, the other fraction. And then the last one was the one we estimated, which was the square root of 40. Okay. So my final answer is this. Okay, they're all in their original form. All right, hopefully you feel pretty good about that. Okay, cool. So let's try another one. Let's do number two. Okay, seven fifths. Um, I don't know what seven fifths is. So I'm going to do five goes into seven. How many times? Uh, one time with two left over. And it doesn't fit evenly. It's not going to, I have to put a decimal and I bring a zero down and five goes into 24 times. Okay, so that turns into 1.4. 1.6 times 10 to the first power. I just moved the decimal one, so that gives me 16. Square root of 144, that's a perfect square, so the answer is 12. 120% move the decimal two places, one, two, so I get 1.2. And then 10 squared is 100. Okay. Some of these are like really big and then some of these are really small. They're not even like that close. It's kind of weird. Okay, 
Um, let me just double check, make sure I got them all. Yep, I'm good. Okay, smallest number, uh, 1.2. Next smallest, 1.4. Third smallest, 12. Ow! Fourth smallest, 16. Fifth smallest, 100. Okay, cool. That one didn't take up as much room. Put them back in their original form. Okay, so 1.2 started as 120%. Uh, 1.4 started as 7 fifths. Uh, 12 started as the square root of 144. Um, 16 was 1.6 times 10 to the first power. And 100 was 10 squared. There you go. There's my final answer. Okay, cool. All right, I just wanna show you one more example um, because on the homework, it's similar. And the only other thing that's different on the back is you go from big to small. So you're ordering them in a different way. It's good for your brain to think about um, going both directions, okay? So let me just look and see what example I wanted to show you. Yeah, I'll show you number six. So, um, so 124%, remember move the decimal two places. So I get 1.24. 12.8, okay, that's just 12.8. 12 and two thirds, remember two thirds is 0.67. So I'm gonna call that 12.67. Ooh, four cubed, what's four cubed? Four times four is 16. And then times another four is 64. Okay, so four cubed is 64. Again, not even close to the other ones, weird. And then 1.24 times 10 squared, so move the decimal two places to the right, so 124. Okay, cool, big to small. We're going the, we're going the opposite direction. Okay, don't miss these just because you did the wrong direction. Okay, biggest number right here, 124. Second biggest number, 64. Third biggest number, 12.8. Uh, Fourth biggest number, 12.67. Smallest number, 1.24. Okay, cool. Let's rewrite them in their original form. Mm, 1.24 times 10 squared. 64 was four cubed. Uh, 12.8 was 12.8, nice, I like that one. Uh, number four, 12.67 was 12 and two thirds. And the last one was 124%. Okay, cool. So this is kind of fun. Um, hopefully you think about it as fun because we're working with different um, like types of numbers and then making them into a similar format so we can compare them. Okay, all right. So um, there are no on your owns for this one. You're just gonna jump right to the practice. So um, good luck. And again, ask for help. Okay, bye.